guys welcome back to my channel this is Betty as you all know I am sure I am the owner and creator of Betty's custom design here on uh, YouTube Etsy Facebook and Instagram and so the other day um, <clears throat> I showed you guys my idea journal and I, as you can see it's full it's beyond the point of being full and so I was going to create another idea journal, but I was in Michael's today and I found a couple of things and th I'm going to use this one today. Um, but let me show you real quick a couple of the things that I did find. Um, I found this and I think I ended up paying $3.99 for this. Um, and it is a like chipboard um, little journal. It's 10 pieces chipboard album, um, and it's embossed on the front, and then it's got these um, chipboard pages on the inside. So I am going to do something with this in a later video. I'm not sure just what yet. And then I could pick this up for, let me see how much I paid for this one. This is the one I didn't look at. the. Um, I paid $6.63 for this one. And I love this one um, because it is the binder. And I have it upside down. But when you open it, it has this one page that flips out. And then it has several more pages in there. So we will do something with that at a later date too. And then I picked this one up for $8.63. And I figured this one would be really good for um, my idea journal. And I'll show you why. It is, number one, it's a very thick um, little journal. But it does have the um, press board um, cover that we are going to decorate today. That's what today's video is going to be. But when you open it up on the inside, again, I have some more of the press board over here. This is some of the thicker plastic. I have a pocket here that I can put some of my ideas in. Then there are these um, photo album sheets that I can slide stuff in. Then I have some white paper and then some craft paper and then it starts all over again. So I think that this is going to be perfect for my idea journal. Um, I have just a few things right here that we have made and as you can see, um, if I don't want to clip them in or put them in, I can just tuck them down in the pocket for right now. Um, or I can even like display like these little pockets here. I can display them like this. Um, I have these little stamps that, you know, I may not want to stick them down just yet. So let me get, find the stamps. Oh, this was one from Melina's Challenge. I'm just going to stick this little stamp down in there too. Um, or I can come over here and let's see, we have our specimen card. Let's clip it down and I'm just going to use a paper clip to clip it down for right now. And I have a ton of paper clips and I'm just trying to find one of the bigger ones because I want to put a little charm on it. So I am just going to take one of my charms here, and these are just some little leaf charms, and I'm just going to put this on the paper clip, nothing special or fancy, and then I am just going to clip this into my journal, just like that. So it just kind of dresses it up a little bit, that's all. But now I have my um, specimen card in there. Um, I can clip this down. I'm probably not going to put a charm on that. Let me just clip it down just so that we kind of get an idea of what we're doing. What we are going to be doing with this journal. And I will use this for um, my ideas and um, what I want to do so that whenever I hit those slumps and I hit them quite often, 
I can look back through here and see um, some of the stuff that I've done and, you know, get, get ideas. Now, this one we might glue down, and we'll do that in a minute, maybe. Um, we'll go ahead and decorate the cover, but I was just wanting to show you some of the stuff that we can do with the journal um, as to why I am using a um, pre-made journal for my idea journal. Um, I think it's going to work great, um, and it will expand a little bit with it being the ring bound. I'm just going to put this stuff out of the way for right now. So I am going to use my um, Roses Are Red and Blue kit um, because, number one, you guys should all know that I love pink and I love roses. And so since this is going to be my idea journal, I figured why not let's just use the stuff that I love. So I think... I think what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to end up collaging uh, the front of this because I'm not going to be able to like wrap the um, paper around it because of this. So let me just, you hear my dogs are scratching or something. I don't know. Okay. So. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this white off, even though I'm going to end up tearing the paper. I still have not set my printer back. All right, let me just do, let me set this out of the way just a second. And let me go ahead and tear some of this off. So I hope all of you guys are doing okay. I am doing well. Think if I remember correctly, I believe did I not? I think I told you guys yesterday, um, or day before yesterday, maybe that um, I have another job. I start it on um, the twenty seventh, and I am super excited about that. Um, beyond excited. It should be quite a bit less stress than what I'm dealing with now. So that is always a good thing. And I'm trying to think if there's any other news. We've had a few deaths in our family this week. We had uh, one yesterday and one today. My... Um, my uncle was not, you know, sick or anything, um, but he had went to the doctor for like a regular checkup. And when he was walking out of the doctor's office yesterday, he tripped over the curb and fell and hit his um, face and banged his face up pretty good. Um, and they took him to the hospital. And he got up yesterday morning and blew his nose because his nose felt stopped up and I'm not sure exactly how or what all happened, but he died. So it's kind of had us all in a little, um, you know, it's just hard to wrap our head around it. So it's just been crazy. And um, so that's why I am crafting because crafting Crafting has, is truly a therapy for me. Um, when I am crafting, I'm not really thinking about much else. And it's just a way to, um, well, I was about to lie. I was about to say it's cheaper than therapy, but that is not true. <laughs> I think therapy would probably be cheaper for me. <laughs> But it wouldn't be as much fun. All right. I think I have enough. I just was having fun cutting this stuff up. Can you tell? I think I have enough cut that we can start doing some collage. Now, the next question is... I know I want to ink the um, my torn paper. But I'm not sure what color I want to ink it. 
So let's see what it brown looks like, the vintage photo. Because I'm afraid if I do too much pink, I'm afraid that might be overkill. Okay, so that's what the brown looks like. And let's get a piece here and let's see what the pink, I think the worn lipstick may be way too pink. So let's go with the Victorian velvet and just get an idea. This is a new pad, so we'll see how this goes. Um, I think I'm actually going to like the pink. Yep, I think so. I think that's what we're going to go with. What do you guys think? I'm thinking I like the pink. Yep, we're going to go with pink. Okay. And yes, this is a furniture pad. I ran out of these. So these are those little pads that you stick on the bottom of your um, furniture. So, you know, whenever you need something and you don't have time or the willpower to run to the store, you use what you got. <laughs> you have to think outside the box sometime. Okay, so I'm just... I'm just gonna start gluing stuff down. Um, I'm going to try not to overthink, but I normally do end up overthinking. Let me just go ahead and ink quite a bit up first. Let me do that. That might help. All right. I'm just gonna, I don't need a lot of ink on it, but I do want to ink just so that you can kind of see the, the torn rough edges there. Oh, and I got my e-club kit in for Miss Edith with Scrapbooking With Me. And so now I am trying to figure out what I want to make with that. So who all got their e-club kits? If you did, let me know in the comments and let me know um, what you're planning on making. I just have not really, um, haven't had a lot of time to even do much of anything lately. Um, with changing to the new job, I am stressed that um, because the work I do, it's, um, there's not a, well, I don't think anybody else in the office actually knows how to do the job that I do. And so that has me worried. Um, so trying to make sure that I have lists and charts and all that stuff done and trying to train people while I'm still there because Monday is my actual last day there. Um, so, I've just been scrambling, but I'm just, I'm over the moon excited about the new job. I, I can't even tell you how excited I am. Um, my supervisor seems like she is amazing, um, and so that makes a huge difference. I'm not, I don't think it's... I don't think it's any closer to the house than where I'm at now, so that, that doesn't make a difference. All right, let's do a few more, and then we will finish decorating the cover today. Hopefully, we're going to finish decorating the cover today, and then um, maybe tomorrow we'll come back and start adding some stuff into it. Um, and the way that this is, I can even decorate some of the pages, even though it's going to be my idea journal. Um, I can do um, some decorating in it. I'm just, I'm really excited about it. Um, because, number one, I love the fact that it was so, you know, that it was relatively cheap for less than $10. Um, and then to have so many different features that... It, it just, to me, it just look like, looks like it's going to be perfect as my idea journal. Um, 
So I'm definitely excited about that. Because the other one is just, oh, that poor thing is on its last leg. Because I keep saying that I'm going to do a different one. But then the next time I do something else, I go right back and stick it in that one. I don't know why I do that. About like, have you guys seen where somebody will go to the refrigerator and they'll pull the milk out and smell it and smell that it's sour and then they put it right back in the fridge? It's like, uh, okay. <laughs> it's not going to get any better. Well, why not go ahead and pour it out and throw it away? But I guess they think that if they put it back in the fridge, it might get fresher. <laughs> I guess that's kind of what I've, I have been doing with my idea journal. I've just been continuing to add to it. I guess, you know, I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I thought that I could find places. I don't know. I, I'm not even going to try to explain it because I don't know what I was thinking. Nope, not at all. All right, we're gonna say that we have enough, even if we don't, but I, knowing me, I've probably done way more than I needed. All right, so I'm just going to start gluing down. Like I said, I'm gonna try my hardest to not overthink this. Now, if that works or not, that remains to be seen. And why is my glue sticking? It seems like it does it every single time I go um, to record a video. It wants to act up. And it's just crazy. Now, I will say that I am bad about not cleaning it after every video. I'll just put the cap back on it. So, I will admit that. And these are just stainless steel straight pins. So, I might better leave that out. By the time I get done with the video, most of the time, you know, because I've been at work or else I'm on the way to work or, you know, I'm always in a rush, it seems like. So, ah. And let's just see. We're going to put that like that. I'm really going to try not to overthink this, but... You guys know how I am, so you know, be prepared for some overthinking, because I'm sure it's going to happen. Just like there, it was already about to happen. <laughs> I told you. Yes, yeah, so it is starting. I. I guess you could say we're starting to maybe get cooler weather. It's only been like in the 90-ish temperature. The humidity is where I can tell the difference here. Uh, it has been a lot less humid, and that's been nice. Um, I messaged Shell the other morning on the way to work, and it was cold. I had my sweater and all on. It was 69 degrees here. And I'm like, I am freezing. Yeah, because anything below 70 for me, I just, I get chilled. I really do get chilled. So, that was way too cold for me. She was laughing at me because I think, I may, I may be wrong, but I think she might have said it was like in the 40s that morning up there or something. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Now, once I um, get finished with my cover, I am going to need to, and I'm not going to do it tonight because everything I want everything to dry really good, but I am going to need um, to put something over this to protect it. Um, so, I am not sure if I am going to do like a collage podge or like a gesso. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. But I will need to do something to um, just protect these pages here. And we'll figure that out in another video. 
I'm thinking maybe collage podge because it's not like Mod Podge. It's not, it doesn't get like tacky feeling. Um, you know, Mod Podge after a little bit, it'll start, I don't know, it just always feels kind of tacky to me. Um, and the collage podge does not seem to do that. So that's probably what I'm going to use. But we will worry about that in a different video. Right now I'm just going to finish covering this up. And I got like one or two little spots that I want to cover. And I don't know if I have anything out that I want to decorate with. Um, we'll take a look. Um, and at least we can get started decorating, you know, embellishing it. Even if we don't get it finished tonight, we will at least get a good start on it. Um, so that we can come back um, tomorrow, maybe, and finish it up. I just want to make sure all of this stays down. Okay. And we're going to stick this right there. Okay, so we have pretty much our cover done. Um, now, what do we want to do to the cover? Do we want to do anything to it? Um, let me take a look at this stuff. I have some labels that I include in the kit and some envelopes. I also have labels from um, another kit that I do with them. Hmm, I may have already filed them away. No, I didn't. Or maybe some of them I did. These are like some little rose stamps. So I know what I'm going to do so that we're not just wasting a bunch of time while I'm just digging through. I have some lace over here, I think. I do. And let me just grab a piece of this. And I think I want to use maybe this one that says Cherish. I'm not sure. I'm just thinking that one because it's a different color and kind of would um, offset. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let me just cut this out. I should probably put my glasses on to try and cut this out, but I'm not. Because I'm stubborn. I have contacts in, but I have to wear glasses and contacts. So, I'm just being stubborn. Okay, and let me find my hole, my little hole punch. This, that's how I do my holes, but I don't know what I done with it. I oh, probably ate it knowing me. And I'm not going to waste time looking for it. So I guess I have to cut them out. Yep. Normally I just take my hole punch. The um, regular hole punch. And I'll just punch these little corners out. And it makes it much easier. Hmm. I don't know what I've done with it. There's no tellings. I probably put it somewhere like in a good spot that be like, oh, this is a great spot. I'll remember exactly where this is. Nope. It don't happen like that with me. Okay, and I think I may even get a piece of this white right here. Just a small piece of it. 
This is some I picked up at Michael's today, too. It was on clearance for like $3. It's like a stretchy nylon lace. But it's gorgeous. And I couldn't beat the price. <laughs> and what about if I were to bunch it like that? Like bunch it up when I go to glue it down. And then glue this on like that and maybe glue this like that I don't know I need to ink this up so let me do that while I'm thinking while I'm thinking what I need to do because I am not sure Let's see. What do you guys think? Should I do that and put the green? Or should I maybe do the green and then put the white like that? And then do my label. What do you guys think? Hmm. <laughs> or do I leave the cover alone? I think I need to do something to the cover though. And do I have a book page somewhere? Out of all of the many, many, many books I have, you would think that I would remember to um, bring some book page over here when I do this stuff, but no, that would make way too much sense. So I'm just gonna try something here really quick. I'm going to ink this one in brown in the vintage photo. That's all I'm doing here. Getting it really good and distressed there. Okay. And if I were to put that there, that there. Just wondering if that blue is just too much because I've got so much everything else is pink I'm thinking it might be so let's see what we have here let's go with this one maybe see I knew I was gonna end up overthinking it I knew I was and y'all knew I was too so don't even try and act surprised. Y'all knew there was no question about it. I was going to overthink it and I was gonna get to a point and then just be like, oh, I don't know. And I think I may ink this in brown. Okay. I think I do like that with that little um, white lace sticking out. Yep, that's what we're going to do. We're just making this decision and we're going with it. Whether we like that decision or not, we've made it. <laughs> and that's what I have to do when I'm crafting like this is I have to just kind of make a decision and go with it. Because if I don't I will just spend way too much time trying to think about it. And I think I am going to do this just a little bit. Just dust it a little bit with some of the vintage photos so it's not stark contrast white. And then I'm going to glue this part here. And I'm going to glue it down, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrunch it up when I glue it down. And as you see, I did not glue the top of the lace because I really don't want the top of the lace to be held down. I will, you know, put a little spot right here to kind of keep it in place. 
and a spot over here to keep it in place. But that's all I'm gonna do as far as gluing the top down. And then I'm gonna get this. And we are going to kind of set that right there. And y'all did not see that. I was trying to put the the ink dauber on top of the glue for the lid. <laughs> Lord help me. I'm losing it. And I'm just gonna hold that down for just a second more. And I am wondering. Thinking when I glue that down, I might want some of the green. I do. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that because I can put something heavy on that to hold it down while it dries. And that's one thing that I like about the Faber Tac is it does dry pretty quickly. Okay. do it just like that okay guys so what we're going to do is we are going to call this video done because I am going to need to take let the um, glue have some time to dry and that way when we come back tomorrow everything should be dry and placed well enough that we can start working on the inside of this so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and let me know. Um, leave a comment. That's even better. As long as it's a sweet comment, you know. <laughs> um, but leave a comment. Let me know um, how you like the video and how you like my new idea journal that we are working on. And if you have any ideas for some upcoming videos or um, ephemera ideas that I can try, please let me know. I love to um, get new ideas to try. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.